Hey everybody, it's Martika and I'm coming today just to talk about what I've been going through lately. Um, I just recently got VSG, that is vertical sleep gastrectomy surgery, which is weight loss surgery, if you don't know. Um, I just want to kind of talk about what made me get it. I first researched this surgery about six years ago and it was at one point I thought maybe I wasn't too big to get it because you just see, you know, shows like My 600 Pound Life and all that and people who get it that's like super duper big. So I never really looked at it on, um, from my doctor. I just researched it myself. <laughs> Fast forward to my childhood. I've always been a bigger kid, always. My whole life, I've always been chubby. I don't like saying like the fat friend because I just happened to be the big girl <laughs> with all my friend groups. Like it was never nothing nobody ever treated me different or anything like growing up i did get teased here and there and i would cry that's because my clapbacks they <laughs> they wasn't back then I, I got shit now but back then i i ain't had nothing i i would cry from time to time and other people would take up for me but never had a problem um i've owned it like i've been like this my whole life um i've never been what's the word self-conscious i mean basically if you're anybody that's big they know they big so it's kind of like one of them things if you call me big okay next or this is what a lot of people say you don't even look like you need surgery you never even look like you don't even look that big and everything and it's it's easy to say that when you've never been 300 pounds it's easy to say oh i never um you don't look that big da, 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 da. it is what it is like you know, I did it for me. I didn't do it for anybody else. My daughter is almost 10 and I want to be here for her. And she was a little nervous about it. Like she just thought I was going to go into surgery and the next day just be skinny. <laughs> and I had to keep telling her, like, stop saying, mom, you're going to be skinny. Mom, you're going to be skinny. I'm going to be healthier. Like, no, I don't have any health issues. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. I don't have high cholesterol. I'm just overweight. And I've been overweight. Like I said, um, my whole childhood uh teenage years adult years i've been heavy and at this point i'm 31 and i'm i'm kind of just tired like i'm tired of it uh, i'm kind of tired of my clothes not fitting right yes i've tried to lose weight on my own i've eat or eat right you know work out here and there but it, it never lasted too long uh anybody who say losing weight is easy they're just talking out their ass because it's not easy if losing weight was that easy it would not be as much obesity as it is but some people you don't need that you don't need that surgery but i i see people who i know like people very close to me who've gotten a surgery and it's like people telling them oh you too small you too you too small but when i was 300 pounds you wasn't saying nothing when i was unhealthy you wasn't saying nothing you know what i mean so it's kind of like if you've never been in that situation you can't really talk about it you can't say it's easy to lose weight when you've been 150 pounds and athletic your whole life that's yeah that is easy that's easy it's not when you 300 pounds and you've been trying for it's not easy so um you know that's why i just went ahead and i decided to go this route i did all my research i'm here in philly and i went to abington jefferson the team that i worked with uh it was a six month process everybody was so prompt everybody was super friendly you get there early you go in early i had a very very good experience with them so i'm gonna wrap this video up the next video i want to talk about my i guess i'll talk about my two week liquid diet and my one week post out because tomorrow i will be one week but i'll just talk about it now thank you for watching guys um i just decided to like i said i just decided to come over here and talk about it um i'm an open book any questions you have you can ask i'll gladly answer them even though i'm early into it but i have no problem with that so yeah, look out for the next video.